All right, what's up guys, it's Trailbound Chris, and today we're gonna to talk about the Tusk Recon tire and how it's held up over the long run. Stick around. All right, so I put this Tusk Recon tire on at the very beginning of that Idaho and Montana trip that we did. We ran it throughout that entire time. I rode the 110, Alec rode the 120, and we hit a bunch of different diverse terrains. You know, I talked about all that in a different video and you can, you can watch all the clips of it, but it held up really well. I thought I'd blow through the tire by the end of those eight days, like, you know, some of the other tires that I ran have when I go on long road trips like that, but this one still held up and it's it's still going. I really haven't had any issues with traction. This is the this is the 120 version and the knobs are pretty spaced together, sort of like the five, Shinko 505. And I was a little worried that it wasn't going to hook up well in kind of the loamier stuff. But you know that hasn't really been the case. I haven't noticed being like pissed at my tire for for not getting traction, you know. Like I I've, I've definitely wore out tires so much that you know, it's partially the rider, but like at the same time, if your tire is like bald and you're in soft, super soft stuff, like you're, it's going to be really hard to get traction. Even at the current condition, this tire is still running good. So you guys are probably asking like, how many hours have you gotten out of this thing? I just checked the hour meter. I put this tire on at 100 hours and now it's at 142 hours. And that, that blows my mind. Like usually these gummy, hybrid gummy tires, like the Shinkos and the VEs and all those, they last me about 29 hours. I think the 525, 120 version, I got a lot of hours out of it, but it was still probably only like 35 hours. So I'm, I'm blown away that this thing is still holding up. I should note that I flipped this tire at around 30 hours. And so that's why it kind of looks like a gumdrop. Um, and probably why I prolonged it itself a little bit longer than normal. I usually don't flip my tire just because it's too much work, but I did get a flat on my tubes. Let's hear it in the comment, guys. I'm still running tubes. I got a flat. <laughs> Pretty rare, but it happened. Maybe that's why it lasted a little bit longer than a normal tire, but you can still see there's a lot of knob left there, which is pretty cool. I'm not getting very much ripping. There's a little bit of a tear here, but really most of them don't miss. Most of them are, they're all intact. There's just a little bit of tears here and there, but yeah, that was pretty surprising. Coming from the Ibex, I ripped off so many of them. As you'd expect from a gummy tire, it's getting awesome traction in the rocks. That's mainly what I try to find to ride. And in that stuff, it's it's hooking up awesome. For me, there's better gummy tires that are gonna get even better traction, but my wall is just not big enough. And I, I go through so many hours on these bikes that I want something that's gonna last longer. Before this, I tried the Kenda Ibex because people are saying like, you, you can't beat the traction. And they were right, the traction was awesome on, on the Rocky stuff. But I just blew through it way too fast. You know, like maybe on a 300 with a little bit less wheel spin versus my 250, it would hold up uh, longer, but it just, it just was, for how expensive it was and how short of the life it was, it just wasn't enough for me. So I was like, I gotta find a tire that's gonna last me longer, even if it's not the best traction available. And luckily the Tusk Recon came out right about that time. I need a new tire, so I tried it out and I'm really happy with the results. For me, this is a really great value for the amount of traction that I'm getting, how long it's lasting, which is blowing my mind. Like I haven't had a tire last this long since I was riding like, like battle crosses or something that are super hard. So I'm really stoked on this tire. I've got a race coming up that's gonna be, it's gonna be a mix of granite but there's also tons and tons of silty powder that's just like, it's almost like you're riding in snow. It's, it's kind of, it's almost like a snow blizzard, especially when someone roosts in front of you. Like there's a big, cl big cloud of dust you got to go through. It's, it's ridiculous. It's the Donner Hair Scramble. If you guys haven't checked it out, I got some videos of that. I'm not sure that we might get some rain this year and it might be a little bit better, but because it's so sandy, powdery, I'm gonna go with something with bit, with more spaced out knobs than this Tusk Recon tire. 
So I'm going to pull out this IRC VE33S, which has really big gaps in the knobs, and it's pretty soft. It's not, the IRC VE33 is not as gummy as the Tusk Recon. It's very close. It's just a little bit harder, but the knobs are a lot spaced out. You know, there's less knobs. It goes like 232 two with a lot bigger spaces in between them this way and this way. So I think that's going to help me in this particular race. But honestly, if I wasn't doing that race and I was just doing my normal riding, I'd put this 120 Tusk Recon on and give give the bigger tire a shot. Um, just because it's cheaper and it'll last me longer. But I'm going to run this V33S. I know it's a good tire. It definitely hasn't lasted as long as this Tusk Recon. And I don't know, traction-wise, it's kind of similar. It's just it's different types of traction. I would say this Tusk Recon would get better traction in the rocks with the knobs closer together um, and it lasting longer. But for this uh, kind of more powdery race, I'm going to run this V33S. I'll put it through its life and then I will probably put on this Tusk Recon and give the 120 a shot compared to the 110. The 110 was awesome. Alec was running the 120. He was trying those Shinko gummies that are like ultra gummy. And, but he's all about the tubeless, so he airs down a lot with the Tusk Recon. And he said the, ad, the advantage of the Ultra Gummy wasn't that much better than the Tusk Recon because he could air down so low. So I'm still running tubes. I go around 6 PSI. Normally I'm running at 9 PSI, but if it's like if I'm struggling, I'll drop down to 6 or so. I'd definitely say give this tire a shot if you guys haven't already. It's a really good value. I think you'll get really good traction. But, you know, let me know what your experience is. Like, tell me the type of terrain you're riding and let me know how, how it's worked for you. And I'd be curious how many hours you're getting out of it, too. Like, I was surprised at 42 hours that it lasted so long. And I could probably still keep riding this thing, to be honest. So, Tusk Recon, check it out. Let's, uh, let's dive in and uh, take a closer look at these suckers. So thanks for checking out this Tusk Recon video. If you have any questions specifically about the tire or about you know how I'm running it or what type of traction I'm getting, let me know down in the comments. Happy to start the discussion here. Um, I'm always posting on Instagram at Trailbound Co. If you guys want to see more details about this tire, check the link down in the description. As always guys, we'll see you out on the trail.